Okay, so this mini-series is all about understanding calculation and what is involved in calculation. The concepts, the ideas, etc. So, in essence, calculation is the overarching thought process for making your decision regarding the movements that you're wanting to make. Underneath calculation, you have so many options. You have things like your candidate moves, your mantras, your conceptual ideas regarding your answer process. Um, so underneath all of those, then you've got other four processes that can go on um, in order to basically ascertain your decision making, such as your research, your practices, your evaluations, all of those types of things make up the idea of calculation. So within each of those areas, each one has its own strengths, weaknesses, etc. And when you're making your decision about your moves, it's really then down to your, what's the word? It comes back down to your decision. Yeah, it is subjective because everybody has different opinions on how they're going to move in the game, why they have selected certain moves, etc. So for me, when we're looking at this particular process of calculation, it's the overarching, it's the embodiment of your decision making with all the underlying concepts and ideas. Okay, so once we understand what calculation is, then we can drill down into each individual one. We've been recently practicing um, pattern training. Um, we've been looking at the move order of things. We've been looking at tempos. And now we're just uh, looking at the candidate type moves, the, the main moves that you're looking to utilize in order to enhance your calculation so hopefully with the understanding that the candidate moves are not the be all and end all yeah they are part of your calculation process that embodies a whole range of things for you to make your decision around okay, so okay hold on one second I need to get into this game i'm going with the pawn don't i Open it up here, smaller piece, attack and higher piece, that's fine, All right, okay. So yeah, so in the grand scheme of things, basically the candidate moves, yes, they do help us make decisions, but they're not the be all and end all, that's basically what I'm saying. Our candidate moves start off with position, checks, captures, threats, support, blocking, then position. So the higher up the scale of the um, particular movement will kind of enhance that choice. So our next move here at this moment in time, looks like there's no major threats going on. We do like to obliterate the center. If he wants to touch here, then we can take this off here. Let's have a look at the, his rooks really aren't linked up at the moment. The queen's jammed in, this knight has um, already been blocked and it's been sent backwards only active piece really is this knight here but it'd have to come here and get taken so in essence we do have tempo to bring the knight back or even better this key square here could be challenged with this pawn so that's a check or a threat on this pawn here which potentially could open up the space around the uh, king or it could advance the pawn further up towards the king. So out of those choices, position, it's good, yeah, it's fine. But after that position, what is it really doing the knight? I think this pawn maneuver here attacking, which is a check on a piece, which is higher up the scale, um, in terms of this lower level position, uh, positional move, I would plump for attacking this pawn. So we're going to push and attack the pawn because it's a check on the piece. 
So ascertaining which one you're wanting to go for based on all of your other research as well when it comes to making your candidate choices try and blend in your own experience and your own research all the history behind each of the particular movements how your style or system operates so we could take with the bishop because rooks don't really have any place in the center of the board could get chased around so i think the bishop's going to be taking doesn't need to babysit this pawn anymore this pawn is doing a good job just blocking this area off here but it does suffer from not having anything protecting it so the knight, knight comes down but we did say that if that knight comes here this queen could just take this knight off the board and this is not a low level player by any means and it just shows that these things do happen and they've resigned okay so in a nutshell calculation is the overarching decision making tool underneath that we have things that we're working on such as like our candidate moves and our candidate moves our position checks captures threat support blocking them position then utilizing all of the answer process concepts and at the end of the day once you've basically gelled and consolidated all of those decisions yeah your research your history your analysis all those things that you've done within your own games will then help inform your calculation at the end of the day